Hey guys, welcome to the Tire Series 7, I'm reviewing this, which is Iron Man from the Avengers video game. This is part of the Joe Fix-It Build-A-Figure Wave. Now this is the Atmosphere Armor Iron Man. This is really cool. Uh, I love the design of this. I love blue. It's my favorite color, uh, as you can tell from the background there. I just love blue in general. It's a great color. And this is a blue and silver Iron Man, and it's just so unique looking compared to anything we've seen, I would say, from Marvel Legends. This is probably the most unique Iron Man we've seen in years. And we have the Avengers video game logo there. We have Joe Fix it up top. We have Game Reverse. On this side, we have some pretty cool artwork of the Avengers. And then on the back here, we have this really cool picture of Iron Man. We have a bio, and we have the other characters in this wave, and a look at the build a figure. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to pick up any more of the characters from this wave or Joe fix it. I do like the build a figure, and I actually do like all of these characters in general, uh, but regardless, they're not my favorite version, so we'll see. Um, but this Iron Man, I absolutely love. See so yeah, how it's open this up. And here's a comparison at the Joe Fix-It, or a look at the Joe Fix-It arm. Um, because I might not do a review on it, just kind of want to show that. It's a massive arm, and I think it's a cool design. I'm just not 100% crazy about the video game choice. So here we have Iron Man out of packaging. He comes with two open hands. Um, you don't get any blaster effects, which is kind of weird because typically they do that with all these Iron Mans. Um, but, you know, it's not that major of a detail, and I do have a couple of them that, you know, you can just kind of like switch back and forth. So, again, it's not that major. It's just a little weird. Um, but you also do get a pair of alternate fisted hands, which I think are pretty cool. They're like metallic blue, or not metallic blue, but you know, it kind of looks like metallic blue. It's more of a dark blue than metallic, uh, but either way, I like it. And you do get this alternative Tony Stark head, which I think looks amazing. It very much looks like Tony from the game, if we can get that to focus there. And I believe they said that these are the first ever printed heads that are not done based on movie characters. I don't know if that's true or not, um, but the hair's molded pretty nicely. It's slicked back, and it just looks good. You know, it looks like Tony Stark from the game. And then moving on to the actual figure itself. It's got some really nice designs. Um, it looks like it's kind of a combination between the previous, I think it was Star Boost Iron Man, and the regular Iron Man from this game. I might be wrong there, and some new pieces. Um, but it's got silver on the helmet, and it looks pretty cool. You have the white out eyes, which I like that. And you got this little black here, and you got some nice indents like molded into it. The blue looks good, and you know, it's kind of like a lighter blue, darker blue mixed in. You have his hand here, which looks pretty cool. He's got some silver on the back of it, and you got silver on the shoulder here too, or not the shoulder, but elbow, my bad. But you do have some silver on the shoulder as well. Silver black line going through the back, and it just cuts in really nice and blue. You have the arc reactor there, which is like more of a squared one, and then you have the little triangles. And I like how if you pull this up, you still have a triangle there, so you know, even though it's kind of hidden, and most poses I do like that and then yeah it looks pretty neat and same back here like too the spine kind of goes up a little bit even when it's hidden which is not something they really had to do but it's cool and then you got some more cuts in it and you have the black and silver and then it's kind of like more like morphs and it's got some really nice details here you can see these triangles and these two little bits here I like that I like how they incorporated that there and then on the back of the suit, you have these, which kind of almost look like it's more for him flying better. And uh, you can see at the top and this. Um, but either way, it's just really, really cool looking. You got a 360 at the head. You can look up and down. You got 360 the arms, swing out the shoulder, 360 there, double joint elbows, 360 the wrist, and they're on hinges. 360 at the torso, there's an ab crunch, the legs kick forwards backwards and outwards. You have a 365 double joint and knees. The feet move up and down and go side to side, but they're a little bit hindered due to this. But either way, it's not too bad. And then here's a look with Tony's on masked head on. And as you can see, it fits really nicely on the body. Uh, it actually looks like the Iron Man helmet is a helmet. And I think it looks pretty good. I just really love the design of this. Like I said, I'm very partial to blue. Um, but this is just so unique compared to the standard Iron Mans we've seen over the past couple of years. I just think it's a really unique and really fun looking Iron Man. And here's a comparison with the regular armor for Iron Man in the game. And uh, as you can see, they both compare very nicely. And you can see, um, you know, kind of like on the torso, even though I think they just reused uh, this part here to here. I kind of like that because it does actually make these Iron Man suits look more to scale with each other, almost like they're borrowing parts and universe or just upgraded designs. So I like that. Here's a comparison with the original Captain America from the game. And lastly, here's him with Cap and Outback Hulk. And uh, as you can see, they all look pretty good together. And here's the Tony Stark head on the original Iron Man suit body. 
and it looks pretty cool it does fit but i will say one thing if you look at this neck it's kind of hidden due to these metal like things on his chest whereas this one's kind of open and because of that it kind of makes tony's head not look big on it it just makes the neck look big like i think the head is in scale but i think the neck looks like super thin compared to the head which is kind of like more normal sized so i will say i like how this kind of hides the neck better on this blue one um but either way it is still cool and it is cool that you can change between the heads on that because that's probably something a lot of people are going to want to do um it just does look a little weird in some areas um but yeah overall i think this is really cool i love the design for this it's so unique and yes if you're watching please rate like and subscribe